and then I got their box started um, I'll get that temperature to 100 so I'll keep adjusting my light until I get it where I want it um, I, I line the bottom of the little chicken pin chick pin whatever you want, chick box with um, old shirts it gives them a good base because they got little claws that they can keep their feet underneath them. You don't want them to get splayed legs. Because um, then you just have to put the little guys down. And I don't like doing that. Um, and the way I... Uh, if I have a chick that I have to put down. Because of whatever reason. I slide them into a Ziploc bag. Zip it up. Put them someplace dark and warm where they're comfortable. They just go to sleep and just don't wake up. It's pretty easy on them, pretty easy on me, because um, I'm not into, uh, I guess there's all kinds of ways you could dispatch a small chick, but that seem, that way seems to work real good, because um, they just use up all their oxygen and just go to sleep, and uh, just don't wake up. But anyhow, hopefully we won't have any problems. Um, you don't wanna, really want to use wood chips. In the beginning or even straw because it could be slippery you don't want to use just a plain cardboard box bottom either because it can be slippery and their legs splay out um, they need to build that muscle up and the best way I found was using um, just old t-shirts you know the old ones that you just don't wear no more you're gonna throw away or whatever I just split them up and as they get dirty you can just roll them up and roll out a new one Take the dirty one hanging in a tree and the rain, it'll rain on it and clean it all up and put them back in a box for next time. But anyhow, I'm going outside now. All right, well, back over here, I got all this planted in garlic out to these sticks. Um, this side over here, I'm going to get it cleaned up and we're going to plant um, some carrots and some onions over here. And then over there, I got some strawberry plants that got cream last year by the deer. I'm going to dig those up, the ones that are actually got green leaves. I'm going to put them in pots so I can save them. I don't lose, I don't, I don't want to buy any more strawberries. And then I'll work on deciding what I'm gonna, how I'm going to plant these strawberries. Because i got to be able to keep the deer out of them. Um, and of course, the rabbits, I try to hunt the rabbits in the fall you know and during hunting season um, but rabbits are rabbits and they just can survive it doesn't matter <laughs> they're still going to show up um, but that's the plan and then um, I did plant some yesterday I planted some carrots in a flat because I heard you can do it if you compress the soil and as soon as the carrots sprout, you got to get them in, out and in the ground. And the only way to get a, the little dirt plugs out is to keep them really moist. I'm just doing it just to see what happens, but I'm going to plant a bunch of carrots in here today. I've seen a di couple different ways online to do it. Um, I've never fiddled with carrots because carrots are so hard to grow, but I'm going to give it a good whirl this year. But I'll be back. Well, I'm out here with the bees. Probably shouldn't be with, I got a red multicolored <laughs> plaid shirt on. Unfortunately, bees don't know. But you can see the activity. Now, I don't know if these are all my bees. I don't have that many bees for all my bees. But it could be. When I go back over here and look, you can see the the pollen that they're bringing in. It's little, um, um, you don't need to be getting that water. It's a little, uh, um, the little legs are got, um, see that, that's all fair again. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is Robin now, I bet you. So I need to get, get this hive put up. Because that hive cannot be still surviving. Um, whatever it is, I think it's a skunk doing that, it keeps pulling that board off of here but here's uh 
Now this one here I know is alive because I looked inside of it. And there's no way to get in but right there. And they're guarding it. So anybody that does come decide to rob, they're going to have a tough time getting in there. So this, was, this one will do fine. Um, a lot of bees flying around right here. But I'm pretty sure this one, I might even... I don't like the fact that... <clears throat> there were a couple bees in here, but I don't think... Sorry, I'm trying to do that one hand, it's a pain. I'm pretty sure they died. Um, so, we'll just take, I'm just going to take this box inside. It's got honey in it, so I'm not going to let the bees have it, or these other guys have it. Alright. Well, this is sort of how I saw this guy, this old boy in the south, plant carrots. And so I sort of mimicked him. I don't know if it'll work or not. But we'll see. I, I planted about a thousand seeds right there. <laughs> um, I use these kind and half of it. And I lost the other one. Um, I don't know. I guess I dropped the other package. Stuck it in a different pocket. Oh, here it is. And these kind Danvers and so those are two kinds I planted um, and basically just got to and this is compost soil it's been sitting down for a couple years so it's not shouldn't be too strong um, I didn't sift it or anything I just poured it in there um, I I sprayed the ground real good and got it good and wet and then um, I, uh, my camera's freaking out. There we go. Camera's freaking out. Uh, sprayed the ground, got it good and wet, and then sprinkled the seeds all over it. I think I got them all over it. I might have got heavier in some spots than others. It's pretty hard to sprinkle carrot seeds when it's a little breeze. But then I took a hard rake. And he took the forks and he just sort of went down through there, you know, and mashed them all in. And then he took a regular rake and just sort of lightly drug it across it. Then he covered it, his up with a light plastic. I'm pretty sure plastic doesn't matter a white or black. Um, basically, the plastic is just probably to uh, insulate the ground a little bit and keep the little seeds from blowing away. It's sort of like the board method. Where you put a board on top of your se carrot seeds, and um, but I'll check them in. I'll check them a couple times, but it it, it, it says it takes carrots a long time to germinate, up to um, eleven days, and he was saying that carrot seeds really like to germinate in warm soil, 80 degrees. Maybe that plastic will get the soil up. Um, we'll see. Um, but it's my I, I never was very good at growing carrots so I'm going to keep practicing at it and then right here in this little patch I'm going to go ahead and stick a bunch of onions down and in that box over there I'm going to go over there and dig up all the strawberries that have any kind of green leaf and I'll keep watching them and then um, that that bed over there is going to be kale, swiss chard, lettuce and uh, maybe some onions and then we'll just keep going down I got a bunch of potatoes I'm going to do a uh, potato towers um, and then I got some asparagus I want to plant and I got some black sunflower seeds coming I want to try and plant black sunflower seeds out in the field I'll use my tiller on that just do a big row and um, see how many of those things I can get up and then I'll take the heads and store them and hopefully that'll be good food for them in the winter chickens in the winter you say the black sunflower seed is high in uh, protein and um, the oil so it should be good for them as a substitute for just trying to basically get away from buying stuff um, 
got plenty of time, so I might as well grow as much as I can this summer that I can use to get them through, you know, like pumpkins and gourds and um, squashes and all those things like that that'll carry into winter. And then I'll plant a winter crop too that'll um, carry over. Um, and if I could figure out, I don't know what's wrong with that wheat. Um, I could have got a bad bag of wheat. It could be old or something, or I don't know what. I'm going to ask the guy at the wheat store what's the deal. <laughs> but the garlic didn't die. <laughs> so um, there's a few of the ones that I planted coming up, so that's cool. And then um, 